What is up, planet? It is The Priest, and I'm back with another Pick A Card reading. In today's Pick A Card reading, I'm gonna be looking at messages that you need to hear exactly right now. So in this sense, time is an illusion. Doesn't matter what day it is, what date it is, what time it is, you are meant to see this video. If you guys are new to the channel, shout out to all the new subscribers. Welcome to the Tarot Tribe, where we embrace love, happiness, freedom, and most importantly, truth. There has already been so many students that have enrolled in Tarot Priest Academy. So if you guys have not looked into that, the link is gonna be down below in the description box, or you can go to tarotpriest.com or follow me on Instagram at the Tarot Priest. Last but not least, if you guys would like to book a personal reading or a life coaching session, you guys can find that down below along with pretty much everything else, including the merchandise and the book that I wrote. Thank you guys so much for leaving reviews on Amazon. Um, you guys got me to one of the number one new releases on Amazon. So for the 13 Slaves of the New Era, I just got that information. So thank you to all of you guys who support the channel, support the message, and also to all of you who are also light workers and bringing truth and light and love and justice to the world. All right, so before we get started, doesn't matter where you are in your life, I want you to think about the guidance that you're looking for or the message that you need to hear at this moment. We have four different decks that you guys can choose from. Take your time. It doesn't matter if you guys are drawn to the cards or the stones. Take your time when choosing which deck is pulling towards you. All right, so we have deck number one, deck number two, deck number three, and deck number four. All right, guys, let's see exactly the news or the messages that you need to hear for where you are right now in your life. All right, if you guys chose deck number one, this is your reading and exactly what you need to hear right now. Overall messages for deck number one, willing release, close encounters. We have the number 10 here, which is also significant for closing or starting a cycle. With the close encounters, you can see that the butterfly is in the cage. I actually really do signify this. I have it tatted right here. And what it means is that there could be an open door very near that will bring a lot more freedom into your life. So I'm interested in seeing what you guys are going through. We have exhaustion, trust, possibilities, maturity with the queen of pentacles and slowing down where you're going child of the cosmos the intelligence of the universe lies within you you guys are going through a self-realization right now just to kind of put a word on it it's more things that are being revealed to you about yourself about the people around you but I'm sensing that there's a needing to release, which I know we talk a lot about that, in order for you to be free in your life. The butterfly is in their cage, which is a big deal. Multifaceted, unique nature, let yourself be seen. Yeah, <laughs> let yourself be seen. So you're the butterfly, you're going through a transformation. Let's see what this transformation is about for deck number one. I'm also feeling that something in your life that has to do with finances is at stake. You being yourself, you encompassing this full butterfly energy of transformation and not wanting to hide your uniqueness and not wanting to hide all of the things that you know how to do that maybe others do not. It's having that trust when you take that leap we have the Ace of Pentacles already parting in the Ten of Cups. So those of you who are looking for some type of financial breakthrough, I am seeing something come in. It's an emotional fulfillment or something that will bring you some type of satisfaction. Why is Willing Release here for deck number one? Thank you. The Sun card in reverse. Yeah, so it's something that's preventing you from flying, which is being free something that's preventing you justice. So some of you guys could be dealing with some type of paperwork, arrangement, justice in the sense of the law, the court system. A lot of you guys are going through things that have to do with legalities. 
some of you guys I'm feeling very heavily with the justice we also have Libra energy but what's interesting about this deck is that you have some uncertainty about decisions in your life that will bring you much more abundance much more money I want to say so let's see what that's about why is the queen of pentacles here for deck number one for exactly what they're going through so let's figure out what you guys are going through. Yeah, it's decisions. It's decisions. One of these decisions that you have to make is going to give you much more control over your destiny. It's like trusting yourself with the ball, trusting yourself with something in your hands and in the ability to be able to overcome this. So you're becoming much more mature, but it's about believing in yourself and knowing yourself. You still don't know the capabilities that you have, um, even to the fullest extent. Let's see what your expectations, don't seek anyone's approval. Let's see, why is that there for death number one? All right, we have the wheel of fortune. Yeah, something needs to end. What is this that needs to end for death one? Four of wands, some type of commitment, some type of relationship relationships in general with people the people the environment that you're around is is attracted to who you used to be and you're becoming someone completely new so these people because i'm seeing like gossiping here i'm also seeing that you need some sense of rest and to take a step back from the situation because something is creating a lot of unhappiness in your life and I feel like it's strongly the expectations, the validations of others. That's all about being a validation slave. We have Virgo energy here now with Leo energy and Libra energy. You don't have to be. But the expectations that people have on you are keeping you a slave to the old you. There's much more for you in, an, in a place of elevating and receiving more and not feeling bad for it. There's a different route that that needs to be taken here. Four of Cups, yeah. Lots of unsatisfaction. But let me see why the Four of Cups is here too. Thank you. Three of Wands. Some of you, it's just not the right time for these things to happen. It's not the right time. Tower, unplug, and relax for a spell. Yeah, that's what I'm sensing. You need to take a step back so that you can see clearly. A lot of this requires a perspective from, from something much higher than yourself, being able to see above certain situations. But again, it's backing you into the wall because Spirit is saying that there needs to be a little bit more trust in this next decision that you have to take in your life. A lot more faith and a lot more trust. What are they releasing? A lot of you just need to express to yourself out loud about how, what or how you actually feel about a situation ending. Wow, there's a lot going on around here. This desire that you have to maybe fit in or kind of blend in with the people around you is no longer bringing you fulfillment. I feel like a lot of you have made decisions, not for yourself, but for the sake of other people, for the sake of keeping the peace. Why is uh, the courageous queen here? The moon card, yeah. There's still more Pisces energy. There's still more to learn about yourself. Still more to learn and you're desiring to really be free. So what you need to hear right now is that things are closing in your life. Some things are closing and some things that you're waiting for is not the right timing. There's a lot of discord that I'm picking up and that just means division. So with the people around you, the friendships around you, there's there may even be a lot of loneliness. Like you could be around people, but maybe really not connecting. So I'm feeling like the best thing is to... This, this is what they're saying, give up in the sense of letting it go. Knowing that there are certain things out of your control that you cannot change. And this is going to bring you a sense of peace and a sense of relief because a lot of this is to get you to the queen. Doesn't matter if you're a guy or a girl. Get you to the queen with a new perspective. Okay, so unplug and relax for a spell. Now the question that you guys had 
to ask yourself right now is how can I infuse more self-love and compassion into my daily life? Let's see. The High Priestess in reverse, following your heart. If your compassion does not include yourself, it is complete, says Buddha. Choose one self-care action to do daily by setting strong boundaries or meditating, listening to your heart, speaking to yourself with compassion, focusing on your strengths, saying no to something that isn't something that you really wanna say yes to. That's something I'm hearing very loud, saying no. You know, you can really learn someone's true character when you say no, when you tell them no, you can see who they truly are. And I do feel like some of you are gonna start saying no more and trusting that you have the ability and the independence to do it yourself. And that's again, why your instinct, spirit guides, you could be seeing numbers in that moment, again, letting you know that you're not alone. Even if you feel alone, you're not alone. And that's why it's so important for you to connect with this higher version of yourself, the one who is at peace, the one who is not in agony, the one who trusts, the one who knows that they're here for a purpose, the one that does not fear. So this is a lot of layers being released. But what I see for you guys is like the phoenix rising, okay, from the ashes, from something that took place. I'm seeing that, again, it could be legal tees, your jobs, housing situations, financial situations, the expectations of others, wanting to please other people, you know, it's all coming from a play, a good intent and a good place, but the child of the cosmos is the intelligence that you have within you, that your spirit wants you to be more open to so that you don't have to run into walls in your life with people, with certain situations, running into walls, just meaning getting hurt, but using your discernment more so that you can trust those instincts, okay? All of this is doing in your life is shaping the way you're seeing things. And also I'm hearing for you, deck number one, what's the worst that could happen if you just say no? A lot of you have some fears around saying no and the repercussions that may come with it. So you're like maybe always on the fence about things because you don't want to take sides. We have a lot of twos here. And then for a very few of you, very few of you guys could be dealing with child custody. That's a very, very few of you, okay? For the justice card. Last but not least, let go of what you cannot control. Yes. That's the maturity of it, is understanding that you are not keeping all this going. You are not keeping the sun to rise and the clouds to come. And you're not keeping this all together. We really don't have as much control as we think we do when it comes to the things that are much bigger than us. So this is just a level of maturity and a level of growth. And in the process of it, what Spirit is saying is slow down. Don't feel like you have to make decisions as fast. Take the time that you need to make the decisions that resonate best with making you feel good. Stay far away from drama and negativity. Ask for help and allow it in caps. Allow it. Okay, write down three things you are grateful for. So I want to see you guys, hashtag deck number one, three things that you guys are grateful for down below. Let's see what your guys' overall message of what you need to hear right now is for deck number one. Thank you. Ten of cups. Yeah, there's a rainbow at the end. You guys have such beautiful, vibrant energy that I'm picking up. You don't even see yourself the way other people see you. That's where the compassion for yourself comes in. Maybe you are cooler than you think. So that came up too, but the 10 of cups is overall, everything is going to be okay. I swear today has been that type of day for many people that I've been coaching. So it's all coming together. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> That's it. That's all you guys need to really, really hear right now is it's okay. It's going to work out. Ten of cups. You will be fulfilled, but it's going to require a shift in giving yourself the benefit of the doubt this time. Maybe you can. Maybe you can. 
So Ten of Cups, ultimate happiness. You see the rainbow in the back here, okay? So things are gonna work out. Doesn't matter what's going on around you. Keep harvesting your dreams. Keep planting your seeds, planting these thoughts and ideas of the life that you dream to live. Doesn't matter what's going on around you because there's a lot going on. Now, why is this butterfly in a cage for number one? Seven of Pentacles, patience, you're growing. It's almost like they're saying it's not time just yet. There needs to be a little bit more maturing to do and a lot more independence. I'm feeling like a lot of the, the dependence like of other people is keeping you having to make decisions that maybe you don't want to do. Seven of Pentacles one more time, why is there? Thank you. The Hermit, yeah, Virgo. Virgo energy again, and earlier we had Taurus energy. So the Hermit, it's time. I know, I know, I know, I know sometimes but spirit is genuinely saying that if we do not like to spend time in solitude in silence with ourselves for brief moments then that is also something that needs to be examined because you'll find that that's where most of your peace all of the bliss that you're looking for all of the peace that you're looking for is in those special moments of silence in solitude is where you're going to meet the universe and your instincts and the beauties of your soul. There are mysteries of your soul that are even being revealed to you in front of you through dreams, through visions, through numbers. Pay attention and let life be a mystery and an experience. And so with the willing release, I'm gonna end it with this deck number one, with the willing release, it's not like, okay, okay, I'll let it go. It's more of like, you know what? I'm letting this go because it's preventing me from flying and being free. That's the willingness. The willingness comes from knowing that there's better, there's more to come. And also that it's okay if you release this because you can always gain something else, okay? Everything is replaceable in this world, but nothing can replace or fulfill your soul's fulfillment if it is not coming from a soul place. That's a different type of food. That's not material things could never fulfill the soul. So you guys are learning these things and you're doing great. You're coming a long way. And I do also feel like three of wands. Some of you guys are just waiting for it to end. So if you guys chose deck number one, overall, the message I have for you guys today is that it's okay. There's freedom around the corner. Releasing others' expectations are going to make you feel much freer to flap your wings. So these are the things to remember that everything's in perfect timing and it is okay. And even if you think you have it all in control, the universe is much bigger than us, okay? We have to depend on something much greater at some point to keep this planet moving and the sun from coming up and the birds from getting what they need and the, the, you know, the entire infrastructure that we could never do on our own. So at some level, there needs to be a release and more trusting. All right, deck number one, I'm out of here. Don't forget to comment down below. Three things you guys are grateful for. I'm going to move on to deck number two. If you guys chose deck number two, this is your reading and exactly what you need to hear right now. Powerful move. Awakening genius. Messenger, bringing harmony and balance. You're not alone. Isolation, physical connection, community. So some of you guys need to experience some sort of physical connection. Now, what this is coming from is I'm feeling like it's an energetic shift that you guys are needing. So I'm, I'm feeling very confident that I'm going to be able to give you guys that energy today. Um, I'm going to give it all that I can because I'm really sensing that what you need to hear right now is to really uplift you and let you know that you're not alone. Universe, we're all just stardust and morning. The world awaits you. 
All right, so let's see what this is all about. I brought a different deck to clarify so we can get down into these messages. Let's see why is a powerful move here for deck two? The Emperor, I love it. So that was the first thing that I thought of when the powerful move came out. The Emperor is all about making decisions. It's like when you're making a move and you make a decision, your life changes immediately. It's the most powerful thing that we have is decision making here spiritually. But a lot of you guys are learning how to trust more of yourself in making decisions. Lots of power play moves for you guys. This is the perfect timing for those of you who want to become CEOs and entrepreneurs and inventors and starting projects and writing that book and doing that podcast. Lots of genius energy here for sure. You're connected to the universe. You're learning that if you're stardust of the universe and the universe is you and the universe is everything, then you are also connected to that divine so every morning you wake up is an opportunity for you to shine. Strength, we have Leo energy here. So a lot of you guys made some bold moves here. Um, and some of you guys could be on the verge of making a, a, a powerful move. But I'm seeing that your reality, for those of you who are in this place of not really feeling like this life is bringing you fulfillment or the life that you're currently living is bringing you fulfillment, I'm seeing that all you need to do is make a power move. One decision, two decisions could change your entire life. Okay, three of pentacles, I'm feeling like this could be a work situation. Lots of entrepreneurship things right now. Some of you guys just need someone to tell you that you do have this ability to create and you're inspired by certain things in this world. Some of you guys could be inspired by learning more. Some of you guys could be inspired by trying new foods or meeting new people. So if there is a sense of isolation, then your energy is kind of like up and down. So there is a sense of uh, making a power move. Now, why else is the emperor here? We have Aries energy and we also have cancer energy now. So you guys are moving forward but you're moving this power move that you're going to make or choosing to make. I don't want you guys to feel like this is going to be something that's conscious. You may not even know you're making this power move. Some of you who are aware and connected with spirit, you may have already known that there's a decision you have to make that's going to change your life. Some of you may not even know, but I'm seeing that this decision is going to catapult you forward into more royalty. Okay, so what I'm seeing here with the royal wings and moving forward, this is a journey. Now, why is Awakened Genius here for deck two? Awakened Genius, because I have these two cards. Why is Awakened Genius? Thank you. Nine of Wands. This is the card that came out when I was shuffling for your guys' deck, the Nine of Wands. And if you can see this card, it's very disturbing. Some of you guys may feel exhausted uh, with looking for a breakthrough or trying to find something. Again, this could be financially. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here for Ten of Wands? Yeah, it's been a lot. It's been a tough journey. And everything that's going on in your life, the storm is here to make you realize that you have more power to calm it than you think. So a lot of the times these situations bring about our strengths and weaknesses. So I'm seeing with the nine of wands and the 10 of wands, when it comes to your guys' financial conflict, the biggest thing is your beliefs around money. For those of you, nine of wands, why is this here? Your thoughts, it's your thoughts, yeah, the tower. So some of you guys could have lost a job. Some of you guys could be on unemployment. Some of you guys could be looking for a job. And it's like the spirit is saying, you're a genius. You have it in you. The world waits for you. You are stardust. It's like, if I were to tell you one day, hey, you're Spider-Man. What's the first thing that you're going to do? You're probably going to be like, meow, meow, jumping from building to building just to, but when you're told that you're stardust or the magician, you're not waving your wand. And I feel like it's because 
there's a little bit of a disconnect with understanding just how powerful you really are. Because if you knew, then you would do differently. And I'm seeing that your thoughts are getting the best of you, the doubts. Okay, we have Scorpio energy here. Now, why is the tower here? And what about their financial situation? Guidance for that. Knight of Swords, moving too fast. Moving too fast with money. Spending here, spending there, spending here, not thinking about it. That's also something with the Knight of Swords, making more uh, strategic decisions by waiting a little bit longer. Allow things to unfold. And the Three of Swords. So yeah, uh, this is definitely another situation that you guys are going through. Why is the Three of Swords here? Page of Pentacles. Yeah, it's definitely job. It's definitely employment. Um, some of you guys, it's just not knowing where to start, what you want to do. Some of you could also be working in an environment with certain people that are just low frequency. Three of Cups. A lot of people with masks on, not knowing who is who. I mean, this is a lot. This is a lot of energy. What else is going on? Integration. Yeah. This is to integrate you. In. This is like a wake up call. So if you're noticing things, earthquake shifting and falling apart, it's a wake up call. A spirit is trying to get you to move, make a move, make a decision. Like that's what I'm hearing spirit say integration. So this is all about the yin and the yang, the balance of things. There's a lot that needs to be let go here. A lot that needs to be taken a risk on with the fool to become the master. Yeah. It's just about knowing who you are. And then, you know, like I said, when you find out that you're Spider-Man, what do you want to do? You want to try your gifts out, open up, expand, ask the universe to connect with you in dreams. There are certain guidance and clarity that you need to make specific decisions in your life, but you're the master. And here's the problem, your mind. This is what I was saying earlier with that, that devil here. This isn't, this isn't anything but self-sabotage and beliefs that block you from receiving more financially. And, and, and seeing the people who are here for you and, and also who are not. There's a lot of harmony and balance that I'm seeing that's necessary, okay? So what's happening is you're learning how to follow more of what you feel. Follow more of what you feel and not what you think because your mind can play tricks. But overall, you're the master. Projections. So everything that you're choosing to believe is it really true? Even the things you think about you and what you can achieve and what you can do, it doesn't matter how big, how small. Some of you may even have gifts of owning your own jet, private jet. Yeah, I'm gonna put it out there because I want you guys to know this isn't baby moves, powerful moves here. But remember that even on the chessboard, because I believe this is the king, even on the chessboard, you have to start small. You have to start movement before you can make bigger decisions. And so I'm seeing that these smaller moves, these pawn moves are actually setting you up to make that powerful move. And some of you guys have people in the way, just simply in the way of these things, um, energetically. So there's a lot of projections. And so basically what happens is when we believe these false beliefs, that we can't do it, we get into the state of depression or feeling like there's no light at the end of the road. But every morning there should be an excitement of gratitude waking up because it's an opportunity to paint, literally create the life that you want. Okay, what else do you got for them? Existence, the magician. I have a quote on my Instagram that says, you can't use your power if you don't know that you're the magician, in summary, you know? The magic, just because we can't see it, we believe it doesn't exist. Well, our very life is magical. This body, <laughs> the fact that it's even, I can't get into it. I'll be here all day, guys. Overlooking simplistic things in your life that are creating such abundance and gratitude for you. There are things that you know how to do that are just pure genius, but because your version of the genius is not the same version that you are, you're not able to perceive it. 
you have the ability to create a stream of abundance in your life. You're the magician, wave your wand. Rebirth, 10 of swords. Tens, tens, endings, endings, endings. Endings are so beautiful when you're in pain, when you're in unfulfilling feelings of emotions. We want those things to end. So endings can be good. Now, what was the overall question that you guys should ask yourself? <sighs> I didn't even know this was the card, but listen, hey, the cards are the, I'm just the messenger, okay? What am I grateful for right now? The fastest way to raise your energy is to think about gratitude. But this isn't just, I'm grateful for my socks, I'm grateful for my mom, I'm grateful for my job. Life is magic. Remember I said that? Grateful just to have, oh, I'm up today? Oh, another day. So it's that motivation I feel like um, that's kind of been dormant. So it's time to get inspired. It's time to get inspired so you can lift, uplift your energy. Adopt an abundance mindset. Gratitude is the antidote to all your problems. It is impossible to feel or be fearful and grateful at the same time. Gratitude improves health, opens our heart, and changes our state. The universal law of attraction says that we attract into our lives that on which we are focused on. What you are focused on will grow. If you're focused on the pain, it'll grow. If you're focused on these thoughts that keep bringing you to feel bad, same thing. Close your eyes, put your hands on your heart and think of all the things that you're grateful for today. Three of them. It's crazy because that's also the message I got for deck number one. So it seems like we have forgotten just how amazing life is. And of course that can happen with the distractions and with the media painting this world to be like, you know, the end of it. It is certainly the end of a specific perspective of the world, I can say that. But as other things around you die down, it's also allowing the thoughts that are no longer serving you to fizzle out. So deck number two, my biggest message to you is that you can do it. You can make these decisions you can follow your instincts, give it a try. I'm hearing spirit say, give your instincts a try. Your mind has led you so thus far, give your spirits and your instincts a try to see where you can be guided. So deck number two, if you can, write down three things that you're grateful for down below. And I would love to get some encouraging messages back to you guys. In the meantime, I'm gonna move on to deck number three. So you guys chose deck number three. This is your message and exactly what you need to hear right now. Feast, slow down and celebrate yourself. Love it. Library, take control of your own narrative, perspective, spirit of gratitude. This will be the third deck in a row that has the word gratitude. So I know for a fact we're learning how to be grateful and this isn't just grateful for like the, I'm grateful for my job, you know, the same speech that we give. It's the actual gratitude of the very essence of life. It's that simple. That's the part we miss. We get everything else. We're like my dog, my cat, but the life part. Perspective, none of this matters. Zoom out, common ground. So this would mean unplugging from media, social media, find a common ground of peace and making a decision for where you stand in your truth, not feeling like you have to pick a side, but seeing things from a higher perspective. Now, what you're going through is burden, six of swords, clinging to the past. So some of you guys have had some accomplishments uh, you're doing pretty well for yourself or you're very close to being on the path of this. And I also feel like you're learning how to take control over your own narrative, writing your own story, uh, being the own pilot of your plane, being in charge of your destiny, compromising six of pentacles and the outsider. I get a lot of earth vibes. So Capricorn, Taurus and Virgo. Um, but I'm also feeling like a lot of spiritually mature vibes 
Two of Cups in the reverse. It's almost like they're saying to celebrate you, but by yourself. And it's not from a place of loneliness. It's just because even though you're in a room full of people, it doesn't mean that these people are celebrating with pure intent, like intention. Because, you know, having people there is one thing, but having people that actually support you and are actually happy for you. And you can feel it when you tell them these things in your life and there's no envy, there's no selfishness because you got some opportunity and they can't go to, you know, whatever it is. It doesn't have to be coming from someone who's uh, not good for you. It could just simply be someone who is kind of burdening your decisions. For a few of you, I see that you could be taking care of people like actually taking care, stepping up, and you're doing very well for yourself. You have a lot of independence um, and you've, uh, you've accomplished a lot of things in your life. So it is definitely time to celebrate, but the guilt, yeah, totally get it. It's like, you know, sometimes we outgrow people and their shame and guilt comes from this, a very uh, sense of place of you know, feeling bad about celebrating or um, being happy in a time of crisis. You know, if you specifically have found yourself in a more peaceful or relieving or happy state in this year than you thought you ever could, because I know a lot of people were having these type of breakthroughs and myself as well. You know, when you're connected to source, you know, you're protected, you know, you're safe and you've been doing the shadow work and you've been really focusing on how you could become a better person for yourself you're gonna notice that this year may be easier for you than others around you. And that kind of comes with remorse, survivor's remorse. I don't know if you've ever heard of that, but the people who survive feel bad for the people who are still behind and so they can't sleep. They're just, you know, kind of trying to fit in where they don't, whatever the case may be. Sun, paint the sun back into your sky. <laughs> I love it. This was something I was saying in October. So some of you guys could have heard me say that. We even have one, one here, 11 and two, two. So if you guys are seeing one, one or two, two in that specific moment, there's a message. It's not the same message every time, but pay very close attention to just what you're doing around those moments. And again, it's not like forcing it. I remember someone said that they set an alarm. That's kind of obsessive. Remember the point of this is by coincidence. And the reason being is because connecting with source and the universe is much more difficult. So they do coincidences. Like it can, you will only know that it's us because there's no other way this could have happened. Those are the purpose of coincidences to bring revelation in our lives, not to just count them out as a coincidence. That's a deeper message for another time. But painting the sun back into your life is also for yourself. You know, waiting for people to celebrate you. That's really what I'm feeling. Some of you guys are doing good things. You may be working on your credit. Um, you may be getting new cars. You may be getting new houses. Could be moving. But the burdens of the thoughts about it, you deserve this, is what you need to hear. <laughs> Deck number three. That's your guys' message. <sighs> Only took me six minutes, but you deserve it. You deserve this. You've worked for this. You've, you've done the work. And even though your work may not be like everyone else's work, it doesn't minimize it. You've done the shadow work. So right now it's a period of gratitude. Stop and smell the roses. You may have heard me say this before, but you can see more clear when you're slow, going slower. Look, take it all in. You deserve this. You really do. That's where the sun comes back into your sky, not waiting for people to celebrate. Some of you have come very long places. It could even be with certain habits that you've had. You really worked on changing them. So you deserve it. Wait, it's not time yet. Things are being woven. So some of you guys who are looking to get to this place and you feel like you're right there, you know, she's just chilling on her ground. She's got fruit bowls, lemonade. She's good, right? Maybe you guys are not there just yet. You're very close to having this balance. Now let's see what this is about, deck three. Messages for deck three. Why is the weight card here? The weight card for deck three, one card. Why is the weight card here? Thank you. 
Five of Wands, conflict. It's not time yet. You're still severing some things, even if you don't see them. Man, you were really attached to a lot of strings this year. For this person, for this person, do it for this. Got to do it because of this. A lot of severing right now. Um, a lot of people being revealed around you who may not, again, be celebrate, celebrating. A lot of competition. It's hard to find people who genuinely want to be very proud of you and want to share your accomplishments. But again, you're learning to do this for yourself. So the, the reason why the weight is, is because there's there needs to be some clearing out before you can take that path. So it's almost like um, you're getting to a place in your life and you're, you may start to see in route. Like you may see, can't take this road. So if you do see that, it's just to redirect you because that's not the right way, basically, is what they're saying. Why else is the weight card here? Why is the feast card here for deck three? Feast, ten of swords, yeah. Basically clarifying what I was saying. Ending of the cycles, waiting for people. Um, wanting to take people with you to this next venture. Yeah, eight of wands. Something is definitely getting ready to pick up for you. Let's see what that's about. Eight of Wands. The Emperor. Aries Energy. The Magician. Nice. Good job. Something's getting ready to come in for you guys. Uh, you're manifesting pretty quickly, if you ask me. Very, very quickly things are happening. And I also feel like, yeah, things are being exposed. Two in one. Like I was saying, I'll get into this card. I just wanted to see what it was. But the magician and the emperor here, something else is being woven, literally. So some of you guys may have ideas or projects or things that you want to do, decisions that you want to make right now, big decisions. I mean, these decisions, you may have been wrestling with this deck and number one, it's kind of the same in the sense of making this big decision. And I'm feeling like if you're just aware of which doors say in route or not this door, or which doors are closed, if you could just quickly move forward when things are not, if it's closed, not dwelling on the closed door, but just moving quickly. I feel like that's what's going to bring a lot more. Well, you already have success from what I'm seeing. It doesn't matter how you view success. I already see that you've come a long way in your life. You've compromised a lot. And now it's time to write your own narrative, not the narrative that you wanted for people in your life, but also just for yourself. So this magician, yeah, you know that you haven't reached your potential. And even if people are like, oh, I'm so proud of you, you know that there's still more that you can accomplish and do, which is really good. I do see that you're doing that. But I feel like the certain things that need to be exposed and revealed are the people around you that do not want your best interest. It doesn't help. And they don't need to come to the next chapter in your life. That's taking control over the narrative. So I am seeing that. Last for the Four of Pentacles, this is usually greed. So why is the Four of Pentacles here? And why is it exposed here? Yeah, justice. Okay. So some relationships are going to get ready to be exposed and revealed. Pay, pay attention, deck three, to the people around you. Pay attention to the language, the body language, who celebrates, who doesn't. You know, it's not always about praise and acknowledgement, but energetically, I mean, if you're connected in soul tribe, you will feel something for someone close to you. So pay attention. Things are being exposed and revealed. And some of you guys I'm hearing for the business side, uh, those partnerships and things of that nature, when you start signing paperwork with other people, I am feeling like you're going to learn to start having your own sense of independence um, because I'm seeing that it is not the easiest to find people who see the vision that you have and are okay with being in the back of the boat until it's their turn to drive. Spirit of gratitude, why are you here? Thank you. Five of cups. Okay. So this five of cups is usually a loss, but you can see here, it's definitely a loss, um, a loss of a person. You guys could have lost someone this year. Let's see what this is. It doesn't have to be for everybody. Um, it, and it doesn't have to be physically either. Yeah. 
So some of you guys are just kind of figuring out the pieces for those of you who are dealing with an emotional loss. I mean, you guys have been through a lot regardless. Deck number three. And that's why it's time to celebrate yourself and seeing how far you've come. And only focus on what matters. The drama, the low frequency things, these things do not matter. Now the question that spirit has for you guys. Am I willing... You are on the edge of something great. Can you feel it? Yet there is risk, uncertainty, and imperfections ahead. Failure is certain and vulnerability is a requirement. You must be braver and trust yourself more than ever before. You will reach the dream, but you must stretch yourself into a whole new level of belief and willingness in order to move forward with courage. Be brave. Follow your heart's compass and lift the lid on your own dreams. Today's mantra, it's possible. That's the mantra for yourself. Now, the celebration also, the praise and the acknowledgement of not having to have it all together or be the person um, that's figuring things out. It's more so about seeing that there is help on the way also for people to assist you with some of your dreams and some of your accomplishments. Like there's going to be people that come in your path, but I am seeing that with the participation and the, it's possible that it is time to kind of be your own cheerleader. You got to be your own cheerleader. Tell yourself that it is possible because as soon as you adopt that, it's not, it becomes that. So overall deck number three, Focusing on your beliefs. Remember, we talked about the private jet. It's like there needs to be a bigger faith, a bigger belief than just some of the things that maybe you have compromised or kept yourself at because of what you feel you deserve. It's okay to want bigger dreams. It's okay to want material possessions and it's okay to want more money. These things are okay. They are here for your experience. They are here for your enhancement. It's just that when we put that as the determining factor of our fulfillment is where it becomes tricky. So overall deck number three, it's possible, but also you deserve it. Even if it's a break for one day, you deserve it. Even if it's taking yourself to a place that maybe you're waiting to go with someone else, you deserve it. So that's what you guys are learning about right now is that sometimes people, they can't see for themselves, so they don't know how to be there for you. And having compassion for those people and understanding that we're on different parts of our journey. And sometimes we have to say, okay, goodbye, until that person can meet up with us on the next part of our journey where we're synchronized again. So overall, deck number three, I want you guys to comment down below and hashtag I deserve this. You may have seen that before, but this one is definitely for you because you deserve whatever celebration that you want to give yourself or whatever you want to gift yourself. You deserve it. So if you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading. Can't wait to see what you guys have to say down below. I'm moving on to deck number four. If you guys chose deck number four, this is your reading and exactly what you need to hear right now. All right, let's see what you guys are going through. So something that I kept seeing when I was shuffling through for deck number four was the nine of cups. So I do feel like you guys are going to have a breakthrough. Um, yeah, because I'm feeling like it's been a, it's been a roller coaster, like truthfully. All right, we have 11 breakthrough. We also have silence, the moon card. So we have Pisces energy here. Going with the flow, aloneness. So we have Virgo energy, letting go, and the source. So this is what's going on. Deck number four, as usual. Great. Endings are inevitable. Endings are inevitable. It's like you just can't. Just like birth. Birth, death, everything is inevitable. So the things that are ending are inevitable. And we also have the B fire stand up for yourself so you guys are getting ready to stand up for yourself and make some decisions trusting more of the universe allowing things to go with the flow having more of an emotional connection with your future rather than your past deck number four that's what i'm sensing very heavily 
stars. You can manifest your every wish. Get back to dreaming again. Get back to dreaming. Weight of the world, boundaries, let it go. It's not yours to carry. Letting go twice. So what exactly is deck number four letting go of? Deck number four, what are you letting go of? Seven of wands, many things. Queen of pentacles, somebody's letting go of someone, walking away from someone. Um, some of you guys could be walking away, some of you guys, from a woman, doesn't have to be gender. Whoever this person is just has feminine energy. Um, specifically, you're here. Now, walking away, six of wands. Um, man, deck number four, you have a lot of things that are in store for you. I feel like there's some distractions here. Lots of distractions, emotional distractions. You have star quality. It's like you're the person that maybe sees that. People around you may see that in you, that you have this potential, but maybe you don't see it within yourself. But you have so much potential, and a lot of the weight that you're carrying is not even yours, is what I'm seeing. You have public recognition card here, yeah. Ace of Cups, this is emotional. This is some type of some type of feeling, feelings that are keeping you. Lots of Pisces water sign energy here, okay? Obviously, um, we have a lot of cup cards, okay? So this is all about this emotional roller coaster that you've been on, honestly. And that's why it's time necessary for you to let go and time to let go. There's no proper way to let go. It's just simply doing. Now let's see what else you guys got. Lifting the veil, questioning everything. Anything unaligned must go. Guys, this is a pretty clear message, deck number four. Letting go, go with the flow. That's how you let go. You go with the flow. You start trusting something other than yourself. Okay, start trusting the source. Like spirit, the way that spirit communicates with you is very simple. You might notice certain things on a box of crackers. You might notice certain things on a box of cereal. You might notice little certain things. They are not coincidental. Now, those of you who are in the Soul Journey webinar connecting with Source, that's literally what this is about. So that connection with the universe is going to bring you safety. It's going to bring you reassurance. It's going to bring you clarity and peace. But it requires a sense of silence. Literally, this is what I taught last Sunday. If you guys were not there, this is exactly what I taught. Silence and solitude is the number one way to connect with source. It's literally silence and solitude. But in order to do that, you must let go. This is where the breakthrough is, okay? This is where the breakthrough is. But everything must go. In, in order to align things, you must question things. Is this bringing me happiness? Knowing that it's not nobody's job to bring you happiness, but is this situation enhancing or subtracting? my reality because if it is it must go because if it doesn't then it's going to compromise my happiness and my fulfillment that's why we have let it go set your boundaries it's not yours to carry you guys are going to have a breakthrough um it's right around the corner it's just that the surrender is so important here stand up for yourself is here and these emotions of walking away um, and a lot of things going on too. The royal you. Yeah. So you making the decision to let go walk away is you walking in your higher self. Your higher self knows that everything's okay, will be okay. Five years, you'll be looking back at 2020 like, wow, I can't believe that happened. You know, this is not a forever moment in your life. And I want you to know that there's a royal you who stands up for themselves and making decisions and also saying no. I don't want to go. Doesn't excite me. And that's okay. <laughs> I don't want to go. I don't want to do this. Quieting the mind. Peace is a big part of your purpose. Peace. 
This is what you're looking for in your life is the quieting of the mind so that you can have more clarity, the silence and the solitude. When I say silence and solitude, I mean literal silence. No dog barking in the background, no clock ticking, TV on the background. I mean absolute silence, no, not even meditation music. Literal silence. Isn't it interesting, the further we become from silence with the distractions and it's like, we have to turn off so many things just to hear ourselves, quieting the mind so you can have reassurance of the decisions that you're making. You're not alone. You have your guides. Now, these are the questions that came out for you guys specifically. I have not seen them. Am I ready to let? I can't. I can't. <laughs> Am I ready to let go of this buried shame? Let me tell you something, guys. The way that Source connected with you guys today is so beautiful. It's literally like a guardian. How simplified these messages are for you tells me that your guides are very close to you, okay? Am I ready to let go of this buried shame? So not just letting go of people, but letting go of why I didn't let go sooner. I mean, it's a, it's a trap. The ego, the mind, that's what it does. Okay, so even letting go of a person, it's there's so many different things that have to be let go. Beliefs, worries, doubts, shame. Shame is the lowest frequency on the energy chart. Shame and vulnerability. The feeling of shame is the... What is happening, deck four? I had no idea. This is the first time I bought this deck. I just, this is insanity. This is live right now, okay? <sighs> the feeling of shame is the lowest energy frequency there is. When you live in shame, you live in darkness. What part of you is ready to stand in the light? Is there any shame from a past experience that is ready to be healed? Heal the shame by giving it a name. Bring it to the light. Let it be seen, let it be heard, but most importantly, let it be healed, I'm interpreting. But it says heard and healed. It's revival season. Replace the shame with your truth. No longer believing the lies that we tell ourselves. You should have did this sooner. Why didn't you do this? And why didn't you say this? And you should have stood up for yourself. You would have saved time, money. What is your truth? The truth is that you're royal you, do, you thrive in peaceful environments. You thrive when you're at peace. You thrive when your thoughts are not wondering. You probably thrive better. You may even feel like you are better expressing yourself for some of you through drinking or smoking or it doesn't matter, energy drinks or certain people bring that side out of you. So there's, there's a free side of you that I'm feeling. And, and it can even be work makes you more of you, but there's one part of you that stays the same when you're at your job, when you're with your friends, when you're in your relationship. And that's the part of you that always remains. That's the peace. That's the heart that you have, the compassion, the longing to express yourself, the longing to want to break free, okay? Out of the cage of thoughts. You guys are gonna do great things, great things in your life. All right, how can I be more kind to myself and offer more grace in this very moment? Growing our self-love is medicine to this world's broken heart. When you heal, we all heal. When you give yourself more grace, you are able to give the world more grace. Look at yourself with the graceful filter. You are meant to be in this moment of your life. Release the inner critic and fill in that hole with your soul's truth, that you are infinite, that you are loved, and you are already there. That's a big one. Because this is what I just heard my guide say. That thought of us feeling like we're not there yet keeps us not there yet. Deck number four, you guys are making me preach today. You guys are making me preach today. 
because as soon, as soon as you understand that you're already there, that you just have to accept it but being there means that you have to let go of who you used to be, the thoughts you used to have. That's the letting go part. It's not always a person, even though for some of you, I do think a person is here too with the Ace of Cups, but you know, the moon card is here. So there's much more to that. But overall, you're not lost. You're on the right track. That's why you are having to go through breakthroughs. Now, imagine if you weren't aware of any of this and you were just living your life every day. So give yourself some credit for how far you've come. Understand that we all make decisions that we may not be proud of, but trust that you're in the right place at the right time. You're watching this video. This is all magic happening here. The fact that we're able to connect. You may be in another part of the world. I'm way over here in Phoenix, Arizona, and I've gotten this message to you. There is magic in the world, but sometimes we're not able to see it but there's most importantly magic within you. So if you guys chose deck number four, the overall message that you need to hear is that spirit saying to you, I got this under control. You can chill, I got this, okay? Letting go of the things that maybe are not fitting, but you don't want them to go also for some of you guys, okay? And then questioning everything. Is this mine to carry? Is this my pain I'm feeling? Or did I just, am I feeling someone else's pain because I just got off the phone with them and they, remember that you can transfer, people can do that. They can really put their pain and their problems on you and really ask yourself, is this mine to carry? And know that you deserve to be in peace and that it doesn't have to be hard to get or hard to work for, deck number four. So. Overall, the message for you guys is, I'm so proud of myself. That's the message that I want you guys to hashtag down below with deck four. I'm so proud of myself. We gotta give yourself some credit back, get some unity to you guys and some words of encouragement and know that you're on the right track. Nine of cups, you guys are on the right track. You may not see it, you know the nine of cups didn't come out, but I've seen it here twice. So I know that even if you can't see, that things are going to become much easier for you, much more fulfilling for you, then that's what I'm here to tell you, that there is light at the end of the tunnel. All right, deck number four, I'm sending you guys so much love, so much light all the way from Phoenix, Arizona. Take all this good energy in. I hope this brought some type of clarity. I'm gonna head out and see you guys at the next Pick a Card reading. In the meantime, love and light. I love you guys all.